Hey guys, Jess with Drifter Journey here. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, what I'm gonna do is show you a week's worth of groceries and a little bit of food prep. We get asked quite a bit, uh, what do you cook in the van? Do you like to cook? What do you eat? And the honest truth is that it varies just depending on our energy level and what we're doing. But right now we are in uh, North San Diego area. Greg is working at the ski shop for the winter and we're kind of stationary. So I have a lot more time and energy to be doing a little bit more preparation and getting meals kind of ready to go. So I just got done grocery shopping. I am currently sitting in the Vons parking lot here and I'm gonna show you kind of what we're gonna do here. So. We've got our grocery haul. Um, you can see we've got some soup base, beans, meat, bread, a lot of veggies. So um, this is about $75 worth of groceries. It'll probably last us, I'm guessing, five to six days. And um, we don't have any special dietary restrictions. We eat gluten, we eat meat. Um, we're not lactose intolerant or anything like that. My rule to live by is eat real food. So we eat vegetables and meat and grains, um, usually in one arrangement or another. That's our pretty standard go-to meal. So um, yeah, we're gonna get this stuff washed, prepped, and ready for some meals this week. Stay tuned. All right, well that wasn't too bad, so I didn't check the time when I started, but I think it was probably only about 20 minutes of cutting and chopping and slicing and dicing. So I'll show you guys what I have going on here. I've got cucumbers and tomatoes. Those I'm not gonna slice until I'm ready to use them. A really easy salad with those is just buy some olives and dice these up together. Um, for Greg and I, I will usually use an entire cucumber and two tomatoes. Um, and then about half a can of olives and then just mix it with your favorite like Greek or French dressing It's really easy. You can add whatever you want. You can add a can of tuna um, Some ground chicken, whatever you want. We've got some Golden beets some celery Brussels sprouts cauliflower carrots and broccoli so the Brussels sprouts and the broccoli are going to be for dinners, so I will cook those in a pot when I'm ready for that dinner. And then the rest of it is all just salad ingredients, so I bought our pre-washed salad mix. And we've got some garbanzo beans, um, we've got some apple cider vinegar, and I also have some tofu that I'm going to fry up and set aside. Uh, the other thing I want to do over with you guys is that I don't really follow recipes. One thing that I used to do when we lived in a house is I would spend like all day Sunday picking out recipes and going grocery shopping and getting everything that I needed for the week. But what I learned over time was that when you pick your recipes ahead of time, if you're not really aware of what's in season or what's on sale, then you end up spending more money than you need to because you're shopping to a recipe rather than what's on sale in the store. So a lot of times I'll have like a vague idea of what I want to cook. Um, but generally I'll just show up to the store and see what's on sale and buy those vegetables. That way you're ideally shopping in season, which means that the vegetables are probably more local to you, less transport costs, um, less carbon footprint, and you're spending less money in the long run, hopefully getting more nutritious food as well. So uh, that's why this stuff seems kind of random. Basically what I do is buy whatever meat sounds good, looks good, and then whatever vegetables are in season and on sale and then kind of pair them together as well as getting a bunch of different types of salad ingredients. So I don't normally buy beets, but they were on sale today and they looked really good. So I've got that and then same for the cauliflower. Um, I actually hate cutting cauliflower. <laughs> it makes such a mess and now there's like little cauliflower bits all over. So I'm gonna have to clean that up. But overall, um, yeah, we are mostly prepped, so the next step will be preparing that tofu, which I don't do often, so this should be fun. So, tofu. Um, I'm using this recipe from the blog Feasting at Home, 
and she is using their, this recipe for a um, curry to, tofu salad. So I'm gonna try to do that and essentially what it's gonna turn into is, I mean imagine like a chicken salad or avocado salad, it'll be kinda like that. So I have some mayonnaise and a bunch of other stuff, but we have to fry the tofu first and I've never done that. It says, with paper towel, blot and press water out of tofu, cut into small cubes and blot again. Okay, that seems pretty self-explanatory. Well, I sort of followed the directions. I feel like blotting with a paper towel is a little pointless. Um, so I just kind of squished it as much as possible and I got quite a bit more out. So um, basically I figure the more I get out, the more crispy it will get, which is what I want because I don't really like soggy tofu and I've also cut the pieces pretty small so for me I think the more surface area I have to fry the better it'll taste and um, my cooktop runs pretty hot so uh, it's gonna fry pretty quick and I want to make sure that I get as much fried as possible rather than just having a little bit so let's get out our frying pan and you guys know I use the, the Primus nesting set in our Amazon store. I love it. It doesn't take up much room. So what we do is it says you just heat some oil. I'm going to have to add some stuff to that. So let's see what we have. Um, Alright, I've got... This is curry powder from my stepmom. Obviously, we need salt and pepper. Uh, that's, that's probably about it. <laughs> I don't have a lot of spices. So, olive oil. You're probably supposed to use a different kind of oil, but she doesn't specify, and I don't really care, so. salt to the oil she says add a little pepper I'm gonna need something to sear this with okay. okay. alright so it's looking like I'm gonna have to do two batches because my pot is pretty small so this is half of the tofu still, and I've got half of it in the pan right now. And so we're gonna fry that up and see what we can do with it. How long does it take to fry tofu exactly? I don't know. Seems like it's taking a long time. I don't know what I'm doing. Flattering a mess though. I don't like that. Ugh. two kinds of people in this world. People that like to cook clean and people that don't care. I envy those of you that don't care. Because I'm constantly distracted by the mess I'm making. And generally, that means that I spend more time worrying about cleaning than I do cooking, which is stupid. Doesn't seem like it's getting crispy though. It is getting hot in here. We're gonna take a piece out and try it. Cause I'm getting impatient. Ow! Ah! It's really hot.
Mm. Not crispy. Whew, but very spicy. That curry powder's got some heat. <coughs> Just hit the back of my throat. Alright, I'm gonna call that good because I don't want to stay in here all day. I've got half of the block to cook still. We need to turn the fan up. Crack a window. Smoky in here. So this is not this is not as simple as I'd like it to be. I probably wouldn't do this again. Okay, now I'm really gonna call it. I'm gonna set that aside. And Start the second batch. Probably should put more oil in there, but I'm not going to because it's splattering all over the place. And that is driving me nuts. Quarter cup. I don't have uh, measuring cups. Never been a problem. I used to be really intimidated by cooking. I would only follow recipes to the T. I would only use the ingredients called for. I would never substitute. But when you live in a van, you got to improvise because you don't have room for all this stuff. You don't have room for six different kinds of dressing and for, you know, different condiments and herbs and spices. You also don't have room for utensils, so I have two knives, I have one spatula, we have two bowls, two plates. <coughs> so you suddenly become a lot more flexible because in the end it doesn't really matter. Most of the food that I make turns out just fine, um, by our standards anyways. <laughs> We're not very picky. Mm. I love cashews. That might be way more than I need, but I kind of want to eat some, so. All right. It's coming along nicely. I have no idea. Okay, time to mix it all together. Like I said, I'm just kind of winging it. So, we got uh, diced apples and celery, some chopped green onions, our cashews, very roughly chopped, also roughly portioned, <laughs> um, our tofu. Um, all right, so it calls for a couple tablespoons of veganaise. Um, I could not find vegan A's. I'll put the recipe in the um, description for you guys so that you're not just like throwing it together if you don't like doing that. One tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Maso menos. And then honey or agave. I like honey. I think it's about a tablespoon. Okay. Mm. Smells good. All right, so we're gonna mix this together, and I'm just going to kind of. 
eyeball whether or not it's enough of all of the gooey ingredients that are going to hold it together. Mm. I think that's going to be good. So you guys look. So you can put this on salads, you can wrap it up in like a pita bread or put, just put it on a piece of bread, um, whatever you want. I'm going to put it on salad. Like I said earlier, I bought some of that pre-washed spring mix, whatever. So yeah, um, I'm going to try to find a tub. I don't really have a Tupperware this big, so I'll probably have to use a couple, which is unfortunate. But um, other than that, everything is pretty much prepped and ready to go. So thanks for joining me for today's meal prep slash cooking show. <laughs> and let me know if you have any questions, comments, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. We appreciate your support.